This is Josh Brunette. Josh is an art professor at Oklahoma Baptist University. He has been teaching at OBU for about two years. He teaches many courses such as Drawing Basics and Painting 1 and 2. His students find him encouraging and incredibly humble. He challenges and guides his students through the course of their time at OBU. However, his talents go beyond teaching. Not only is he a professor at OBU, but he is also an illustrator. Josh has been a freelance illustrator for over 15 years and has done many works. Hundreds and hundreds. Uh, for like when I do a magazine job, uh, sometimes those are two, sometimes they would be five pictures. When I do works for uh, elementary schools, they can be anywhere from five to ten. Children's books are 32 illustrations. So I've been illustrating since I graduated in 2000. Uh, it's been 18 years, so probably hundreds. Um, I've got piles under my bed just in boxes. Sometimes I'll frame them, uh, hang them up, do shows, but for the most part they just stack up and there's a lot. <laughs> like many artists, Josh has specific styles and techniques he uses in his illustrations. Uh, I guess uh, realistic, I do like to do real people. Uh, narrative, most illustration is narrative and that it tells a story. And I usually work with uh, oils, oil washes, and colored pencil. So the work stays really thin. I'm able to accomplish it very quickly. Um, but I guess that has kind of become a style uh, in the way that I work and the tools that I utilize. When asked where he gets his inspirations, he said it comes from his experience as a child and with his children. In the past, Josh has done illustrations directed towards adults, but now focuses on children's books. He even uses his children for inspiration. Sure, I'm working on a book right now, another educational uh, book. It's actually a client I've been working with for probably, or maybe over the last 10 years, I've been working with a particular client. And so it's a, a story for, I think, fifth and sixth grade readers uh, about a young boy who's in foster care system and um, meets a really cool animal and kind of helps. So it's, it's uh, fun little projects like that. And I'm able to use my son as the model, the same age. Um, so that's always nice to be able to work in my family members. With balancing between professor and illustrator, he always has time for his family. I actually, I think teaching really helps to give myself some stability. Uh, there's a, a nice regular schedule every day. I know when I'm going home, I know when I'm coming to work. Uh, I'm close enough to the school, we can go home and I can eat lunch with the family. Uh, and then when I get illustration jobs, they tend to, I tend to do those in the evening after the kids go to bed. So. Uh, I can get things set up. I'll even work with illustrations in, in my classrooms. I teach an illustration class. And so I can show, use my procedure, my process, and use that as a teaching lesson for the students. Um, but then I'm also getting the job ready. And then when we get home, we get all the kids off to bed, uh, I can go to my studio at home and start to work on, on those jobs too. So it's, uh, it can be tiring sometimes because I'm working late at night. But I'm home, I'm with my family. And for the most part, I'm, I'm there with them during the key moments of the day that, that they would want to be with me. So um, it, it's a good balance. His passion for art is not only shown through his teaching, but also through his illustrations. As he challenges his students and helps them grow in their artistic ability, he is also growing as well.